it's too early. Hi, I have a mobile order, LT42. LT42, okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Gotta get some morning coffee, because it's too early. So, picking up some McDonald's from here, and then we're gonna drive down this road to the South Terminal viewing platform. Hopefully spot some morning departures there. Thank you. my morning coffee it's hot morning fuel okay so we're here now at the South Terminal viewing platform right there they're departing off 26 right or sorry 26 left right now hopefully we'll get some nice shots Okay, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go over to Terra Nova where we went last week. I think the mountains look really nice right now, and I think I want to get a shot from there. Because from this spot, if they're rotating off 26 left, you won't really get a shot of the mountains here. So let's go give that spot a try instead. to this spot because of how the mountains look right now. Holy crap, that was like the steepest takeoff from a 777 I've ever seen. It's crazy. So that plane was going to Victorfield. That's why it was uh, climbing so steep.
All right, so I'm here now at what I call the McDonald's parking lot spot. Uh, it's because there's a McDonald's somewhere over there. But from here, great thing about this spot is you can get the arrivals on 26 right. It's a pretty far distance, so I've got the 200 600 millimeter lens on. But on a clear day like this, you can sometimes see the mountains. We have some nice clouds going on right now. I'm hoping that the mountains peak up over top of the clouds a bit later. If the clouds clear up just a little bit. You can see the 26 right arrivals just coming down this way with all the nice clouds and mountains. I've gotten a lot of my favorite shots from here. So hopefully today pans out nicely and we can get some of those kind of shots. And a couple other spotters over there, Justin and Caden. This is a nice spot because you can just park right up here and basically spot along this, this embankment. So yeah, we'll see what we can get from here. I really like this spot. It's one of my favorite spots, especially in the winter. This is not how the game works. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple of shots there. The mounts didn't end up coming through in the end, but uh, we still got some nice clouds and nice contrast in the clouds. As you can see, got some nice cloud cover today. Those should turn out pretty nice in the edit, but that's kind of part of plane spotting and part of photography in general. You're not always given the conditions that you want. It's not always going to be the perfect conditions that you had imagined in your mind. And sometimes you just have to work with what you got and make the most out of the conditions you're given. And that actually helps us step out of our comfort zone and become better photographers is when we are put in these less than ideal conditions. You know, maybe you didn't prepare for it, but making the most of it and trying to overcome that, getting better at the edit, that is what will push us to become better photographers and expand our knowledge and our expertise.
All right, and that's a wrap for the spotting day. Beautiful sunset here at Terranova Park. We've got some of the pink and purple clouds, so it should turn out to be a pretty nice edit. After several hours in Lightroom and Photoshop, here are some before and afters of a few of my edits. The first one I edited was this Air Canada Dreamliner climbing past some fluffy clouds, with the mountains peeking up over top. This is one of my favorite photos from today. In this one, I decided to really emphasize the purple hues of the clouds, as well as the contrast between the clouds and the snowy mountain peaks. I left the crop pretty zoomed out as I wanted to take advantage of the layers in the scenery. In the second one of an Air Canada CRJ, the goal was to give it a very magical, dreamy feel. As with the first shot, I was pretty liberal with the blue and purple tones in the clouds and the sky, giving it a somewhat surreal mood. I made sure to add emphasis on those mountain peaks just visible over top of the clouds. Here's an edit of the colorful Panda Route livery from Sichuan Airlines as it climbs through some dark and dramatic clouds. I picked this frame specifically for that dark and light cloud boundary, so I could really emphasize the contrast there. I also made the colors of the plane more vibrant so that it really pops out from the relatively grey sky. Finally, here's a shot of the Philippines Love Bus A350. I caught this one from the McDonald's parking lot spot which I showed earlier, as it was coming in for arrival on 26 right. I picked this particular frame again for the different layers in the background, with the puffy clouds, the darker mountain in the shadow, as well as the more epic snowy mountain in the back. I gave it a slight pink hue to emphasize the late golden hour lighting. Another one of my favorite shots from the day. I hope you enjoyed those shots and seeing how some editing can really go and transform a photo. Each of those shots took about an hour each to edit, and while it may not be the most exciting part of the plane spotting process, it definitely feels pretty rewarding when you can produce something you can be proud of. Until next time, thanks for watching, happy plane spotting, and I'll see you in the next one.